Hi, my name is Cameron Krause with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at OhioCon 2023 with Xander Mobus. How are you doing? Hello, I'm Xander Mobus. I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Cameron? I'm doing okay. You're my last interview of the whole weekend. So, yeah, quick one for you. How would you get started in the world of entertainment? Um, well, so I, uh, I started off doing theater in um, Washington State, where I was living at the time. Do I look? I should ask this before. Do I look at you or do I look at you that? You look anywhere you want. Okay, cool. Here, I'll just keep doing this. Um, <laughs> I was doing theater in Washington State. Uh, I was also doing like uh, voiceover online in like uh, there was this website called Newgrounds.com. Yes. Actually, it's still there. It's, it's still, still there. there. Yeah, no, it's still there. Nothing happened to it. Yeah. Um, and so I made some friends in voiceover. I made some friends on there, uh, and one of them ended up casting a video game. And uh, he was uh, he sent me an audition. I auditioned. He was like, "Hey, you're not terrible at this." Uh, I can help you cut together a demo reel yeah. uh, where and you can shop that around to agents and so I did that I, like I said I was doing the theater thing and theater does not pay amazingly uh, if you're looking to get into the theater world highly like it's a great experience I would recommend anyone who wants to get into acting theater is a wonderful resource for that long-term career wise you know uh, so uh, I was like, yeah, uh, cut together demo, shopped it around for agents in Seattle, uh, Seattle where I was living. Uh, got my first agent up there, uh, and then it was mostly commercial work until Smash Bros came along. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, moved down to Los Angeles, where I've been for the last longer than I'd care to admit. Uh, and yeah, it's just been it's been a ride, man. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, so speaking of game, mm -hmm. the game that I think a lot of people found you through was Persona 5. It's had multiple reiterations, and, you know, there's the Royal, the Gold Royal, and all those types of stuff. So what's it like getting the lead in a video game like that? Oh, well, that one was really cool because, uh, so I, I had played Persona 4 when I was in high school, yeah. and I loved that game, man. So I was already really, really hyped for Persona 5. Um, and so when I went, I was uh, doing another game at the studio where we recorded Persona 5. And the uh, director, as I was leaving, she was just like, hey, by the way, we'll see you back uh, later this month. And I was like, oh, really? And she was like, yeah, 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 you're going to be, uh, we're doing this game called Persona 5. And I was like, go on. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah, you're going to be playing, uh, you're going to be playing the protagonist. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I will see you later this month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cuz uh I think a lot of people were really happy with you as Joker for that game. I mean, honestly, I nobody I heard that played it had any complaints about voice acting or directing or anything. I think it just it's been blowing people out of the water even till this day. And you know, we've got it now on Xbox, we've got it on all the other consoles, so people have plenty of time to check your your chops out. Thank you, man. No, I really appreciate that. Yeah, and it's it's been incredible. Like, uh, you know, uh, at this con and uh, a couple other ones that we've uh, been doing lately, it's been amazing talking to people that, like, you know, obviously we just went through this absolutely horrible time mm -hmm. with uh, the, you know, pandemic and the lockdowns and when, yeah. you know, we just weren't allowed to go outside for a long time. A lot of people discovered the game right. during that time. And so I've been hearing a lot of people being like, yeah, no, when I couldn't actually go out and be with my friends, I found this game and it, it really like helped me, you know, it's obviously not the same feeling, but it's, yeah. it, it gave them something similar. And that's like, that's incredible to hear. That's, that's very humbling to hear. Yeah. And like, you know, it's nice knowing that it does some good in the world. Yeah, it does. And uh, now speaking of Atlas games, you got to work on Catherine Full Body. Yep. You know, it's a remake. You know, you, you know, Troy Baker's the lead. You know, and you've got a lot of other great friends that are in that. So what was it like when you got to work on the project? Uh, that was cool. Uh, I mean, it. I don't think I knew I was going in for Catherine. I think it was under a code name. So a lot of the time when we work, it's under code names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we just go in. We have no idea what we're doing. Uh, so I think I went in. Uh, just being like, oh, hey, yeah, sh cool. Uh, and they were like, so you're going to be doing Joker as a skin, and then we've got these other characters that you'll do. Uh, and it was a fun process. Like, I love working at that studio. I love, you know, I love those people, uh, the clients that, like, Atlas is yeah. great to work with. 
So, yeah, it's a blast. It was always a blast. <laughs> awesome sauce. So you're also well known for your presentation voice, as we can clearly tell, okay. uh, as an announcer mm -hmm. and Smash and also working on the YouTube channel for The Completionist. Okay. Um, where did you discover that you had an awesome voice for, like, announcement stuff? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, it's really just it's – a, it's a bad impression of a couple of things. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's uh, – it's a very bad impression of Gary Owens, who did the announcer laughing, you know, and a very bad impression of the the goofy uh, narrator, the the guy who did the goofy cartoons. Yeah, back in the 40s. And yes, 50s, yeah. the golfer is a consummate professional. <laughs> Watch as he readies his stance with grace, poise, and don't do that. Um, and I just kind of shove those together, yeah. and it like. I don't know. It ended up working out. Oh, I mean, when I did the audition for that one, I, like, I didn't think I was, I was like, I think 19 at the time or something oh, like really? that. Yeah, I was, I was a baby. So like, I didn't think I was going to get it. The, the yeah. side, the breakdown said we're looking for a male in their fifties or sixties. I was like, there's no way. Yeah. So I, I threw it out there. I, like, I'm delighted I got it, but yeah, yeah I don't, I don't know that there was ever a moment where I was like, oh yeah, I'm good at this. Yeah, because uh, I think uh, it, it, when it, it's within the Wii U version of Smash. Where, which Smash did you show up at? I started with uh, 3DS and Wii U. Okay, so that when you say game, like I know I've heard that now. Now that I put two and two together, that's your voice I'm always hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that was where I started. Awesome, man. So now um, we also understand, you know, NDAs. You have to keep yourself protected. Um, but is there anything currently available you want fans to check out that that fans can watch you in? Uh, you know, I did just have a character in Fortnite drop. Oh. Okay. Uh, his name is, oh god, Rift Warden Stellan, I believe. Uh, I think. I, it's been a very long weekend. I'm sorry, <laughs> my brain is dead. Um, yeah, I, I'd love it if people check him out. We we put a lot of love into him. Uh, apart from that, man, I don't know what else I can talk about at the moment. Uh. So, yeah, play Fortnite. Because uh, John over there, him and his son uh, play Fortnite together. We play all the time. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so we'll check out that there you go. Yeah, please do. We'll do. Now, uh, now, wrapping things up, where can fans keep up with you online to find out any more announcements past today? Yeah. And uh, what message would you love to give the fans that have been keeping up with you since your beginning at 19? Oh, Jesus. Well, <laughs> thankfully, no one was following me when I was 19. Um... <laughs> I mean, honestly, they shouldn't be now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Xander Mobus VO. Uh, well, Xander, it's been wonderful talking with you, my friend. Thank, thank you so you much man. for coming to OhioCon. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Thank you, Cameron. And thank you, guys. Bye.